Oh, now here she is. You're like, oh. <laughs> yes, got her. Because it's not complete without the scouting. It's never complete without the scouting. Oh, oh, watch out for the ears. Yeah. What is the scouting? What is the arm? It's overnight. Here? It was. That was intense. These mics are hot. <laughs> they are live and hot. Yes. Um, well, I know that this is Austin's panel, but my name is Jade Saxton, and um, my panel is just sort of a, a Q and A to you. But you can ask me weird things, and I may say no, I don't want to answer that, or I may answer anything. Yeah. Yes. Are you just stretching? <laughs> What's happening back there? Do you have a question? <laughs> All right. <laughs> what, my dear? What's your favorite Avenger? My favorite Avenger? Ooh. Um, hmm. Well, I think I have to say Thor. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I really like him. He's really great. Yeah, 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 yeah. Very good. Who's yours? Hulk. Oh. <laughs> Hulk smash. Hulk smash. Oh, that was terrible. Don't ask me to do impressions. Uh, I wasn't uh. asking you to do any impressions. Um. Yes. Wolf children. <laughs> Wolf children fans. Yeah. This is like the the first con I've been to where like it seems like everyone. Oh my God. <laughs> Were you in Wolf Children? I was, but I only played bit parts. Ah. Oh, sorry. We don't. We can sit on the table. Uh, I no. You, I was like doing your thing. Like you were like up here and like working the crowd. Um, um, wolf Children. Yes. Yes. Um, we're actually really good at being on stage together. <laughs> yeah. Because we've done it. Before. Yeah. Mm -hmm. No. Oh! Uh, actually, he know like he was spouting that stuff off last night after some margaritas. What light through yonder window breaks? It is the east, and Juliet is the sun. Arise, fair sun, kill the envious moon, who is but sick and pale with grief. That thou, her maid, art far more fair than she. Be not her maid. Her vest livery is but sick and green, and none but fools do wear it. Cast it off. <laughs> I've never, I don't know any of the lines, like, except for uh, Romeo, oh, Romeo. I think I know Julius. <laughs> <laughs> you can do both parts. He's good at being in drag. Have you seen the commentary for this? We already talked about this. Oh, sorry. Well, she asked me about Wolf Children, so I do want to answer her question yeah, about what it was like to work on um, Wolf Children. Um, Wolf Children was a really cool process, and uh, I... I didn't really know much about the film when I got involved, um, and it, the way I got cast was actually kind of surprising and cool. Um, the guy that directed it, his name is Mike McFarland, and I went awesome. to see him in a play. He was in a play. Was it Bengal Tiger? I went to see him in Bengal Tiger. Oh, he back did so good. He played a, 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 that guy. Saddam Hussein? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, no, yeah, no, no, he no. Played, uh, But I think he played, no, he played Saddam, did he play Saddam Hussein, or his nephew or something? Oh, yeah, Uday Hussein. Yeah, yeah, and so he's really good at it, like, being sort of super offensive and mean. I don't know. Anyways, but I went to see him in that, and then we had another friend of ours, and we all went to, like, smoke hookah. Does anyone do that? Huh? Yeah, it's kind of fun. And we were eating pizza and smoking hookah, and, like, he was, like, talking to this other girl, and he's like, yeah, I'm about to cast Jade in this, like, movie. And I was like, you what? <laughs> and so I perked up, and that's, that's how, how I felt. told him. Yeah. And I was like, cool, I'll have some more hookah. Yeah, so I found out about it that way, and um, it was really cool because um, I narrate the whole film, and then I play um, older Yuki. Um, baby Yuki is played by Laura Woodhall, who is freaking adorable. And uh, so we did all of the narration first, so that way I was able to kind of see the whole story as it was before I went back 
and recorded um, the actual kind of character. Because the narrator we decided was really only maybe like three to four years older, um, you know, kind of telling the story and doing all of that. What was cool about that process is we were able to take a little bit more time recording it. Um, and the way that it was written, there were all of the, it's not really, there's, sometimes there's what's called alt lines in a script. I got out of breath. I don't know why. Um, there's alt lines in a script and you, sometimes it's because of preference by the writer, sometimes it's because of timing for what matches the flaps. But this one was really just like this artistic thing that like, and so Mike and I really were able to collaborate. He's like, what are you feeling? Like, do you like this? Do you like that? Can we try this? Can we try that? So it was really kind of collaborative in that way with the writer and with the director to sort of like choose like where we thought this was going and, and how we, what we wanted to say and how we wanted to say it. Like still staying in line with the translation, but you know. And you're a narrator, so you didn't have any, you didn't have to match flaps. You just got to... Yeah, I narrated what it needed to sound. Yeah, like. when I narrated cool. like that, and then also when I was doing the character lines for the character as oh, well. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, there were like sometimes there were like four different ones we could choose from. Wow. Yeah, it was really. That is not common. It's not common, so it was a really different process. That's and it cool. Was really, really cool, and and just like the the whole experience of it in general, it's sort of different when you do a, a film, uh, an animated film versus doing an animated like uh, episodic show. Mm -hmm. Um, and this one was really awesome because we got to do a huge premiere at Otakon. Has anyone been to Otakon? Um, no. It's in Baltimore. It's really far away. Oh. But it's really, why really. Why have you been there? Well, it's oh. really like there's uh, like uh, fifty thousand people there. It's really, really big. And I think some. It's I, like a small city, <laughs> or a medium city. <laughs> Has a trailer playing. Small to medium city. Oh, cool! Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's the the artwork on that show is so beautiful. The music is so beautiful. It's very, very touching. And I think I I don't know if any of you all I mentioned this, but you might be hearing me say it again that it was a room about like seven times the size with three thousand chairs in it when we watched the movie for the first time and premiered it there. And so that made it like a really really special experience to sort of experience it with everyone. And they. And uh, you guys, the fans of anime, y'all are really vocal when you watch stuff. So that was really fun because you're like, oh, no. Like, you know, everyone was really reacting like in almost like a melodrama kind of way. So it was really, really a good experience. And it's one of my favorite projects that I've ever been involved in. I like how you looked at me when you said melodrama. I did because we did a melo I knew what he, you knew what I meant because we did a melodrama together. We did. Yeah. She plays Willow on Buffy. No, I don't. Uh -oh. Stop it. No. I played a parody version of that. A good one. Spruce. That's what they parodied it. Never mind. My name was Steak, but I was based on a character that's, well, I guess Spike is technically in the show. It's not the same. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I know how, like, they work apart. Was that true? But since you guys were in the same show, did you ever have to do a scene together? No, we never used to do that. No, well, what? well. What? I mean, you maybe. What? Well, we got to do the what? live action commentary that was sort of like doing a scene together. It well, was scripted. Okay. Yeah, I mean, we've done scenes together, but not like not like that. An anime. But that one was specific to That's doing true. our characters, I knew, true. and um, I was Arna. sweaty when we were doing that. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> but they made me crouch behind this like chair for a really long time, and I had. I got to eat on. popcorn. Oh, we eating popcorn? Yeah, because my character eats all the time yeah, on the show. Does. I think this is one of the best parts of owning the actual DVD. Sometimes they have audio commentaries and everything. Well, it's really fun when they do the video ones. Like those are because then we're like, oh, I yeah. have to meet the other actor. Yeah, they're trying to get yeah. and that's, yeah, they're trying to get better at the video stuff because it's weird. DVD commentaries in general are super weird because like, uh, like once you get relationships with everyone, then it's kind of okay. There was the best commentary I've ever had is in Defrag because it was me, Ian Sinclair, J. Michael Tatum, Josh Greeley. <laughs> And that's probably it. Uh, but it was, it was really, really fun because we like all enjoy talking to each other as opposed to like meeting someone for the first, like I met Jeremy during that commentary. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Wait, okay, you had a question. Um, also like playing the role of Chronicle from High School DXD. Um, have you seen season three yet? Not yet. It's talking about DXD. Have, have you guys seen High School DXD? Uh, no. Um, so seasons one and two are really, really awesome because she's just kind of got these like sassy little one-liners and like she's, it's sort of the first character that I got to do like that and, and since then because of that, like sometimes you do a character once and then everyone up there, they're like, oh, you can do that. We'll cast you as that the next five times. 
And that's just sort of how it works. And you're really grateful because you're like, oh, they know I can do more things. But so it was really fun to kind of do that flat voice, like really sarcastic, sassy read. Um, her character's changed quite a lot. So I've had to sort of, uh, in season three, I've had to sort of like find new, new ways because you can't really be super emotional or super anything when everything is flat like this, you know? Like it's really hard to... You're really good at doing those flat reads that still have like attitude in them. Mm -hmm. Not many people can do that. Okay. Oh, uh, there's a show we can't talk about that involves mm -hmm. that. Yeah, that's mm -hmm. yeah. You find out soon. Way in the back in the green. Uh, have you ever voiced acted character you really actually disliked? Yeah. Yeah. Just so, could you name? Him? Oh. <laughs> uh, uh, I don't. I don't like. I don't like Cosmo from Defrag. I think he's like a jerk. He just yells at everybody all the time. I was like, check out this picture, dude. <laughs> okay. Uh -oh. Same question for her. Oh, this one, that's the fuzzy um, one. Never mind. Look, look at this one, though. This is a good one. <laughs> Sorry. We, they're, they're in the picture, so it's not rude. <laughs> okay. Very cool. I saw that thing laying on the ground, and I wondered what it was. That big red thing. <laughs> it's a cognate. Uh, oh. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> It's Rize's Kagane, but actually it's in Kaneki now because he's got her organs. Also, were there any funny translation errors that you guys voiced up just for fun? Oh. What? Um, I, I mean, we don't... Someone else translates. Also, you never had any weird voice dubs? Uh, well, but in that vein, there's like... There have been situations where I've noticed a director have to rewrite something because there's like... Yeah. It's, it's a cultural thing that does not make any sense. But then there's also, like, Tyler Walker does this a lot, specifically. Mm -hmm. Like, uh, sometimes in the booth, someone will say something, like, they'll mess up and they'll curse, or they'll just improv a random line, and it might fit the flaps perfectly. And if that happens, so keep the ad -lib. they will put the ad-lib in your pre-roll to try to to try to screw you up. Have you ever had that? I, well, for the other actors, a bomb. It's called a bomb. That thing. And they bomb you, and then you're... I got bombed by you during Is This a Zombie, and it was you're like welcome. my first bomb. Was it? what I say? It was like during when you first like lose all your clothes. Oh, okay. And I don't remember exactly what it was, but it was really, really raunchy, and you said it out of your mm -hmm. mouth. I, yeah, I say things like that sometimes. And are there any roles you've taken that you wish you hadn't? No, never. Um... Well, not in, not in anime. On stage, many times. <laughs> um... Uh, are people filming this? Uh -oh. Okay, I can't answer that. We'll call them. Yeah. Was it because was it because it was Ronji? Or yeah, <laughs> I yeah. That's all. That's Guys, all we need. Uh, yep. Do you want? I've been picking them all night. I'm bad at picking oh, people. Oh, um. Oh, yes. Yes, yeah. you in the red shirt type thing. You watch any shows on Cartoon Network? Mm-hmm. Uh, I I love Adventure Time. Yeah. I, love show. I really like it a lot. Uh, yeah. Were you done? Sorry. Sure. <laughs> no, do you have more? I want to hear about other shows you like. <laughs> um, um, I also like like Aqua Teen Hunger Force as well. Yeah. 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 yeah that's, that's a really good, good one. I got to meet uh, Shake. That dude's what? hilarious. Are you serious? I did a con with Shay. Dana Snyder? Uh, yeah, I did a con with Dana. And I had to do this like game show. Shay is a Dana's a man's name too. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and he told this story about how he got that role by auditioning drunk. <laughs> and then they wanted a uh, they wanted like a they're like, okay, cool, we really like that, but can we get like another, like a callback kind of thing? And they're like, we don't know what you can you maybe try it again? And he's like, oh, it's because so he had to go drink a bunch again and then read it again. He said since then he's gotten good at doing it without alcohol. Are you sure? Yes. That's what he told me. Or not just me, everyone. He told everyone that. <laughs> yeah. Wait, wait, I said this guy could ask you a question. Yes. Have you? I've only done one game. What game? And it wasn't uh, I did Dragon Ball Xenoverse. So did I, that's my game. Oh, cool. So I was a skin, or, or not a skin, or like a, a yes. avatar, and I don't know which one. Did, uh, I, I was just an avatar type person. I don't know what that. 
Like you were someone that you could play as? Or you, oh, you were one of the, I like you make your own character type of thing. Yeah. Because they have those, right? Yeah.